To help demonstrate pitch, I've drawn three lines on the windshield. Notice how the middle line matches the horizon while we're flying level. This is the cruise attitude. The lower dotted line is the climb attitude, and the upper one is the descent attitude. Let's dig deeper into what that means. Pull back gently on the yoke until the climb attitude line matches the horizon. Then maintain that attitude. your altimeter, we're gaining altitude. But we're losing airspeed, proving you can't avoid basic physics while making a climb. That's good. Now let's level back out. Our speed is increasing and our altitude is stable. That's good. Push gently on the yoke until the descent attitude line matches the horizon. Then maintain that attitude. As expected, with a nose down attitude, our altitude is decreasing while our speed is picking up. Great. Okay, bring us back to level flight. Now your speed is decreasing and your altitude is stable. Nice. Try to make only small adjustments to your pitch to avoid overcorrection. For this lesson, we're going to use a line drawn on the windshield to indicate the cruise attitude. I've also added another dotted line to help you bank properly for left turns. Gently move the yoke to the left until the dotted line matches up with the horizon. Then maintain that bank. Working on it, you'll get better. Watch your altitude. It wasn't constant during the turn. Now let's see you level back out. All right. For the next step, turning to the right, let's see how you do on your own without any markings. At the top of your attitude indicator, there's a series of notches representing 10 degrees each. As a general rule, you always want to keep your turns under 30 degrees. 
Start banking right until you're lined up with the second notch to the right on the attitude indicator. Then maintain that 20 degree bank while remaining at the same altitude until I ask you to stop. about the throttle. If you have the need for speed, then the throttle's for you. Full control over the power output of the engine. In the Cessna 152, that relates directly to the RPM displayed on the tachometer. Pull back on the throttle to reduce RPM to 1800. Look how your speed and altitude are also decreasing. Excellent. Okay, let's throttle back up to 2400 RPM. Yeah. 